Welcome back, just got home from work and I saw something on my front porch. I'm super excited. I've been looking forward to getting this product and it finally came in and uh, we're going to do unboxing. So uh, we're going to get it in the house. I have my dog roaming around at the moment. So I might have to put the camera down for a second so that way she won't bolt out. But uh, I'll bring it in and we'll unbox it. And then if there's time, we might give it a little test trial tonight. Let's see what it is. This is a two hand job here. Okay. It is in the house. Now, uh, there's no surprise. You can tell from the side that it is an inflatable paddleboard. The Sportsman. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay. Okay. Such a large box and kind of awkward, but uh, we'll make this table work, the coffee table. Since it is an inflatable, you gotta be super cautious with the scissors. Hopefully they have a barrier in there to protect it. Some kind of slap. Oh yeah, I got a piece of cardboard right there to protect. There, we made it in the middle. What's great about this sup, it has a backpack, which is pretty large. <laughs> we got the uh, leash. We got the uh, carbon fiber uh, paddle. Three piece paddle. We have the dual pump. We have this uh, waterproof, uh, I'm sure this is the patch kit. Yeah, it looks like a patch kit. So that's good to have, especially in that container, that's useful. So it'll pack easy while you're doing a float trip. And then the big dog itself. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's not really a hiking backpack, but that dude is ginormous. So we have this backpack here, and the uh, paddle board's actually inside of there already, of course. This uh, backpack does have some uh, places you can put some extra gear in, and strap some things to it. It does have some mesh pockets on the side, which is great. So awesome. All this contents right here, actually is supposed to fit inside here as well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm package all this stuff, put it inside here, and then uh, we're gonna go to the lake. She's gonna put the bag on her backpack and see how heavy it is. Go ahead. Is it pretty heavy? Yep, <laughs> it is. <laughs> so it's not a convenient hiking backpack at all, yeah. but you all right there? It's pretty heavy. <laughs> you can do some squats, like. Feels like you have a large child on your bag. Ooh. Nice. All right, good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take it out of the bag and uh, pump it up. So we got our paddle here. It's a three-piece paddle because it breaks down, of course, inside here. All right, so the paddle is put together. Let's get to the hard part, and that's pumping up the board. All right, what's cool is this pump is a dual pump, so it'll pump it both ways, but you got to make sure you have this uh, little gasket in there first. So uh, it looks like a little water hose spout on this side, and that's the side that actually goes into the pump arm itself, and you just twist it on there. 
So if you want it on dual, if you want dual action where it's pumping on the down and the upstroke, you put the plug in and you're pumping both ways. And then when we get close to the end, we want to remove that and uh, put a little bit extra PSI in there. So the pump is put together. We're gonna take it out of the bag, roll it out, and start pumping. Got this nice strap on here to keep it together in the bag so that way it won't unravel itself. Take that guy off. We're going to unwrap it. That is like the biggest paddle board I've ever seen. <laughs> it's ginormous. It's a big one. I'm a big boy. I need a big paddle board. Oh my gosh. So first we got to pull this little uh, gasket plug off. And you have to push down on the release valve here. And you gotta turn it until it pops up. So now any air I put in there won't come back out. So to put this on, you just put it in the hole, of course, and you turn it clockwise, and it locks into place. We have to get it to uh, 12 to 15 PSI. This will not register until over seven PSI. So I can't even follow that until it gets enough pressure where it's actually reading. So we're gonna start pumping. Okay. We've only been pumping for about a minute. And it's, uh, it's getting some air in there, but we got quite a bit to go. It's been probably about four minutes. We're almost there. I went ahead and switched the valve to uh, just pump on the downstroke. Once you get to that higher PSI, the suction makes it more challenging do the dual and now I'm doing a single all right we're at about 13 psi we're going to uh, put our valve cover on there and she's ready to go I can't even get you in the whole frame so, give you a little stats. Uh, my kayak is uh, 11 feet and 8 inches. This paddle board is 11 feet and 6 inches. The width of my kayak, the Radar 115, is 34 inches. This one's 36 inches. So it's an awesome platform to stand on and fish off of. So, uh, it's pretty tall. And the weight capacity is 320 pounds. So my wife and both the kids can ride on this thing. Myself and my wife can ride on this. But the whole family's pushing a little bit, but we'll test it out on another day. So here's the back of it. I do have to put in the fin. I haven't done that process yet. But here's back to the front. What's great about this board, it's made for fishermen. You got three built-in Scotty mounts. So I just gotta screw down my attachment pieces. Plus it has a bungee here, bungee on the front and a handle in the middle. The dry weight, which is good for my shoulder, it's only 27 pounds. Versus my kayak, without anything on it, it's 82 pounds. So, the last thing we gotta do is put the fin on, just for traction. And it came with this little uh, bolt here. I'm gonna go put that on real quick. Flip it over. Looks like you, uh, you put the, the little uh, rod in first. Do that little uh, notch out area, put it in first, and then you slide it down into position. I need to put this in first, this little locking piece down into the track. Then as I slide this down, I need to line it up. And then I'll take this little uh, nut here, screw it down on there to lock it in place. So that thing will not come out. I'm holding the whole board up with it. And that's it, that's the fin. So now, let's get on the water. They always recommend going on your knees first. Get familiar with the board. Oh, then stand on it. I'm gonna pat out a little bit with my knees before I stand on it. I'm gonna go ahead and stand on it. All right. 
what's great is that center handle there is a good marker for your center point so if you're straddling pretty good then your center of gravity should be good all right so we are standing on it it is pretty stable very surprisingly i'm rocking it pretty hard i just can't go too shallow with that fin in the back it will definitely take some getting used to as far as uh fishing from it and going through rapids i did uh read on here it is made with that military grade pvc and you can go over rapids with it as long as they're not sharp pointy rocks so i have to be careful about that but we're moving pretty good I mean, I'm surprised the tracking is real good on it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I just can't wait to uh, pick up a fish on this board. That'd be a rush. But as far as a first time paddle board owner, first time on a board period since my Florida vacation several years ago, I have to admit this paddle board is pretty stable. I think my wife and kids are going to love it too just to play on it moves pretty good in the water I think I'm gonna let my wife try it out a little bit then I might try to cast on it just to see how stable I am with the pole in my hand all right overall I'm pretty impressed with it so far we're gonna let the wifey not the dog I don't want to scratch up the thing just yet we're gonna let the wife uh, take it for a little joy ride see what she thinks about it all right I got the pooch Oh, my dog's got a hairball. <laughs> Off she goes. All right, she wants to try the dog out. Do you want me on there too? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, oh we're gonna push it to the limit. So I'm not gonna tell you her weight. That's the big no-no, but uh, she's lightweight. But I weigh 240 and this board is, uh, weight capacity is 320 pounds, so. With the dog, she's probably, what, 15 pounds? Yeah. She's not that heavy. So we're gonna test out the, uh, how much weight it can hold. Cause I know we're probably gonna be over 320 pounds for sure. So, just uh, get my feet under me a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm standing up. We got the dog and the wife and we're still floating. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna paddle out there a little bit. Don't let me sling water on you. Oh, I forgot to adjust the paddle. That's okay. It's a little short, but we can manage. So right now we, uh, so I told you about that six inch diameter. We are uh, about halfway in the water now versus she was probably only an inch in the water when she was paddling. So we definitely dropped the paddle board down in the water column a little bit further. But board is still, very stable and um, I still have plenty of uh, board out of the water so if I were to load this thing up with fishing gear like a cooler like a small cooler you know on that cooler I have some rod holders with my poles and all that fishing I mean you can still put a lot of gear on this board and still float we got some uh, worried about these ducks. duckies crossing in front of us I need to turn off so I don't spook them I don't want to be tacked by a duck or my dog to go after him. She's doing good though. She's definitely sniffing on like, what's going on guys? But uh, she uh, she didn't move and jump off and bark like a crazy animal. That was a proud daddy moment. Good job, dog. Anyways, uh, my wife brought up a good point when we we're out there playing around a little bit. Uh, we rented a uh, stand up paddle board in Florida. We usually go to Florida once a year. Uh, if you check down in the uh, video description, there's a uh, Spanish mackerel um, fishing video that I'll attach if you want to watch our last Florida adventure. But anyways, uh, we rented a stand-up paddle board there, and we both couldn't get on it like this at all. It was very unstable. I fell off into the wave several times. Now, I, was, I think that was our first paddle board experience, but would it matter? We're, 
she's an athlete and you know we can pick up on stability stuff pretty fast once we but that whole trip we could not do it so i think the board itself just wasn't made for it at all but this one is doing well and i feel like we could still put both of our lightweight kids on here and have the whole family there's a fish right there but uh, my wife, she wants to go back out there with the dog. I'm gonna hop off and let them take over. But once I got off, uh, there's a definitely a lift out of the water for sure. So you got more clearance with uh, the recommended weight of the boat. That's probably what it is more so that 320 pounds is their uh, weight for uh, performance. You can probably still load it down with more, but it's not gonna be out of the water as much. And it's probably not gonna steer as well and all that stuff so i'm super impressed with the board and i can't wait to try fishing on it that's for sure all right true test would be uh fishing on it so i have i don't really feel like i'm gonna catch anything tonight but i do want to cast a few times from it just to test out the stability of casting from this platform and uh i do have a whopper plopper and it's got treble hooks galore which y'all know so it's supposed to be hook proof and we'll test it out but uh do i purposely want to run the hooks in there absolutely not but we will uh try to keep them on this uh, foam pad at least all right let's go ahead and get on the board I'm just gonna walk on it. Oh yeah. This thing is surprisingly stable. Alright, I got the fish pole on here. I got the hooks where they're not touching the uh, board itself. Like I said, they are made to touch, but I'm not going to test it out. Alright, we're gonna paddle a little bit. We might work these uh, grass reeds. See if we have any luck. Just a few casts. My wife is over there waiting on me. So I don't want to push her buttons. All right. I'm just gonna work the edge right here. What's unfortunate though, is you know, you gotta put the paddle down, grab the pole. So you can't hold both at the same time. That's for sure. All right, so I made the first cast with it. I'm turning sideways in the kayak too. So I'm not like facing straight forward. I'm just casting swapper plopper a little bit. I'd be super shocked if I catch anything. Just cast it in front of me. Let y'all see. A little wobbly, but um, not as wobbly as a kayak for say, I mean. Unplug it. I'm not gonna put it all back in the bag tonight. It's just the reverse steps, but. pretty impressed with it did I like it absolutely sorry it's so hot outside it's 100 degrees there was a heat advisory today uh, telling everybody to stay somewhere cool drink plenty of fluids but whoo it's a scorcher out there anyways um, I do like the product a lot of course there's a lot of pros to it I mean it was very stable is very thick in diameter of six inches from top to bottom so it's a lot of wider than my kayak so as far as stability goes I had no problem standing on it as you notice in the video my wife and I and the dog we all got on it but you can tell you know once uh, you have more people on there it's more resistance in the water it's harder to turn but other than that it's still held up well so what's that tell me when I'm fishing on it it will hold quite a bit of my gear which is great plus my weight so uh, a few of the cons though it is a it's not with this brand at all it's just inflatable paddle boards you know they don't turn as sharp because uh, the uh, 
edges are not very sharp. They're uh, more rounded, you know, so they don't turn as well. Um, they're not as fast, but I feel like this one moved pretty well once I started paddling it. Of course, with the hardboard, you know, it's a little bit more durable. But the reason I got it was, y'all know about my shoulder and that sorry, sappy story. So, um, it's a lot easier to load this in and out of my car and pump it up um, versus throwing my big kayak up on top and loading it by myself and all that. With my job, I travel quite a bit. So, uh, you know, this would be a lot easier to travel with, of course, taking into trips, Florida, or a little quick trip to the creek, you know, where uh, it's harder to get a kayak in and out um, by myself anyways. Performance was amazing. I love this thing, it's awesome. Very great platform. You know, you saw in the video, I did cast from it and had no problems whatsoever. It is an inconvenience, you know, you have to put the fishing pole down and grab a paddle and kind of adjust, but you have to do that on a paddle kayak anyways. But with this, if you're standing on, you gotta go down a little further. It's not in your lap, per se. Um, of course, you can sit on these. I mean, some other inconveniences, of course. Uh, you know, you can keep this inflated. I think they encourage it actually online. But uh, I want to go ahead and pack it up. So I deflated it, and you have to hand wash it, which you have to hand wash, you know, anything you put on lakes, especially going lake to lake. So that's not a problem whatsoever. So, you know, there is that inconvenience of rolling it up and packing it away versus a hardboard. You know, you just rinse it off real quick and then hang it on your, you know, um, hang it on your wall or, you know, lay it in your uh, garage or whatever. But anyways, there is some pros and cons for sure, but, uh, Right now, I'm leaning towards there's more pros and cons, and time will tell about the uh, durability of the product, and if actually if it does well in rapids, as long as the rocks are smooth and not pointed, and all that. I do wish one thing, the Sportsman came in a, maybe like a mossy green color, versus this, uh, it's more of a, it's not white per se, but it's, it's kind of a lighter color, and I wish it was a little darker. Because, you know, uh, some of these lakes I fish on, there's a little stain to them. So, uh, just to keep the board clean, you know, uh, I scrubbed off all the, you know, the markings real easily. And they recommend using simple green. So, they came off easily, but I can see over time if I rub a rock or whatever and some of that, uh, you know, dirt kind of scratches in a little bit, it's probably not going to clean up as well. So, my only complaint with the sportsmen, I wish they would did uh, maybe this green color on the uh, body itself and maybe uh, change that color or something else. And the orange is fine. I just feel like they should have done more of the uh, green mossy color throughout the board, especially on the bottom where it's gonna be rubbing up against a lot of stuff. Cause that's the bottom there. And uh, you and I know it's gonna stain up probably. But we'll see, time will tell. But I do love this product. I'm looking forward to having some adventures on this. I hope you are looking forward to watching that. And I hope this review helped you out if you were leaning towards an inflatable sup or maybe this particular board itself. And I hope to catch you on the next adventure.